Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, April 5th, 2021. Let's go to Annalisia to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history, on April 5th, 1722, the Easter Island sculptures were discovered. The monumental sculptures of Easter Island, or Rapa Nui, were first seen by the West when the island was discovered by Europeans in 1722. They represent one of the world's great sculptural traditions and have inspired all ever since. Around 800 of these sculptures carved out of local basalt rock were made. If you ever feel like you have a big head, just remember these guys. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Annalicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. Hall of Fame coach Roy Williams is retiring after a 33-year run. The decision comes two weeks after the 70-year-old Williams closed his 18th season with the Tar Heels after a highly successful run at Kansas. In all, Williams won 903 games in a career that included three titles, all with the Tar Heels, in 2005, 2009, and 2017. He once famous, famously said, let's be honest, when you make shots, the whole game looks prettier. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is kale sandwich, tropical veggies, applesauce, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Noah. Patriots, the yearbook goes on pre-sale today. Order your yearbook before April 9th to get the pre-production rate of $25. After April 9th, the cost will rise to $30. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbucks.com. Scholars, the FSA officially begins today and will run through May. Let's wish our first FSA test takers all the best. Here are the upcoming FSA testing dates in April. And finally, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today in class we are going to create a poster for FSA testing. Posters can be showcased inside or outside of the classroom. Let's show what we know. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 77 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. A cloudy day is no match for a sunny disposition. Now let's go to Sonia for the National Week segment. Thank you, David. Good morning, Patriots. This month is National Humor Month, the perfect month for jokes, laughs, and giggles with ones that you're close to. From puns to small mishaps in life, everyone needs a good laugh. Laughing releases endorphins. Endorphins are hormones in the body that help you feel better. I guess laughter really is the best medicine. Happy National Humor Month! Let's keep up those endorphins by going to Samuel's Joke of the Day. Thank you, Sonia. And here's today's Joke of the Day. What kind of music do mummies listen to? Rap music. Well, let's go to song of today's birthday. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday girls are Salome Pineda, Giselle Adams, and Skylar Broughton. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, choose the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Samuel, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Imden Kwa, Miss Yearwood, Mr. Bonilla, Miss Kane. Ms. Moraz and Ms. Samuel. You all had the correct answer to last week's riddle, which was a man pushes his car to a hotel and tells the owner he's bankrupt. Why? The correct answer to the riddle was he was playing Monopoly. Now for today's riddle. What is unusual about the following words? Revive, banana, grammar, voodoo, access, potato, dresser, uneven. Again, what is unusual about the following words? Revive, banana, grammar, voodoo, access, potato, dresser, uneven. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, unite, rise. Have a great day.